Hello once again. Today I want us to learn about the tools and tools window in MapInfo Pro. So today we will be learning that how to load it and how to use it in MapInfo Pro. When you go to the home tab, there is a tool extension here. That is, you can get additional tools that has been registered in MapInfo Pro for the software that you are using. And there are already a loaded tools that is default can be used in mapping full pro and so when you click on the tools window we have all these as tools the rulers and all of that and then there are other tools that can be made default because it is a specific tool that may be used by certain people because of the work that they are doing and so they brought in the tools extension you can even find it on the home tab as a standalone uh, command it's also here in the tools window so you can click on it double click on it for it to open when it opens you have all these tools the registered tools in the software that you are using we have all of this advanced pack catalog browser coordinate extractor a degree converter distance calculator which is different from the ruler the drive time the geocoding the map card which is like an auto card but will be used in map info pro we have a uh, north arrow and all other tools that may be used or may be useful because of the work that you are doing and so that is it uh, if you want to load it into the the workspace that you are using you just have to click on auto load so the next time that uh, you want to use it when you open the map info pro it will open by itself uh, when you also, you can also open it up here by just double clicking on it and it will open up into your device. So when you come here, uh, I clicked on, I clicked on a coordinate extractor. So it's here, you can double click on it and then it opens. The coordinate extractor is open. Anything that you auto loaded or registered will, be, will come to the running side. So when you click on, let's say, Okay, when you click on distance calculator, that one also will open distance analysis. You can do your distance analysis on that by clicking on the distance calculator. And so if you want to unregister a tool, you can just uh, uh, right click on it and click on unregister tool. Uh, if you want to register a tool, these are the registered tools if you, if you just want to load it you just check this box and then it will, it will be opened in the next time that you are opening map info pro or you are trying to create a new project it will open together with the, the workspace that you are opening or you can double click on it and then it will come to the running then you can then double click on it for it to open for you to use it in the work that you are doing the recent used well, uh, uh, tools the recent used tools will be shown here which you can use it to do your work the recent tools that has been opened will be shown here and therefore you can use it to do the work that you are doing so it's only two we have the we have three tabs the recent the registered and then the running you can Float it, you can dock it, you can tap this window, you can auto hide, you can do a lot of that to fit the workspace that you are doing. So that is the tools window which will help you to make certain commands and certain uh, decisions when working on a particular project. So that is the tools window in Map Info Pro. This is a short video. Thank you. I hope it helped. And I hope you will find a tool that will guide you in the work that you are doing. Thank you and have a nice time. Bye.